This is John Shearer. Many former Red Bank students were quite excited when the brick boy and girl students at the old Red Bank Middle School were saved and moved to the high school on Morrison Springs Road. This is a brief conversation with Clay Rogers and Marty Green regarding the work involved. Yeah, Mr. Rogers, tell me a little bit about what all was involved in this process of removing the brick and putting it up here. Well, basically it's just getting a saw and being extra careful not to damage any of the old brick. I actually had two break, but I was able to fit them back in and I don't think you'll be ever, ever be able to tell that they're broken anywhere, but now it's just delicacy and taking your time basically is all there is to it. Uh, what does it feel like to be involved in a project that means so much to a lot of the people connected with Red Bank High School and Middle School? Or I don't know. It uh, feels pretty good, you know. That my for one, my boss got the job, and then when he got the job, for him to put me on it, uh, I don't know. I guess it makes me feel uh, I don't know a part of history. I guess. You're talking with Marty Green. Uh, tell me, you say it's been quite a chore doing this project. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, we, you know, when we took the old brick out, we thought we could just take a hammer and knock the mortar off of them, but to keep them from breaking, we've had to do a lot with the saw, and um, just been a little bit more time consuming than I thought it would be. Uh, we thought about four days. It's going to end up be about a double that, about an eight-day project, but. You know, I graduated from high school here in 81, so it sort of means a lot to me.